share issuances for non-cash considerations. Last time yung topic natin is share issuances for cash considerations. Ngayon naman, paano ang accounting kapag non-cash consideration yung na-receive as kapalit ng issuance of shares? Non-cash meaning it can be an asset or a service. Okay. If a share capital is issued for a non-cash consideration, pwede rin kasing mag-issue ng share si corporation na ang kapalit is non-cash asset or non-cash consideration. And dito natin malalaman kung paano ang accounting for share issuances for non-cash considerations. Such as tangible property, like yung mga property plan and equipment, intangible property, yung mga patent, franchises, copyrights, and so on. And pwede ring service, issuance of shares, and in return, service yung ibibigay ng buyer ng shares. The proceeds is recorded at an amount equal to the following in order of priority. Ibig sabihin lang nun, kapag non-cash consideration yung kapalit for the issuance of shares, the proceeds is recorded at an amount equal to the following in order of priority. Okay, may mga priority. Kapag available ang fair value of non-cash consideration received, yun yung ire-record, yun, yun yung value ng proceeds na ire-record sa journal entry. Kapag hindi naman given yung fair value of non-cash consideration received, ang second priority is yung fair value of share capital issued. At kapag hindi na available yung fair value of share capital issued, ang third priority is par, va is par value or stated value of the share capital issued. Okay, kapag available tong tatlong to, ang priority natin, syempre, yung fair value of non-cash consideration received. Dahil meron siyang in order of priority. Kapag hindi available, then yung B. Kapag hindi pa rin available tong letter B, then yung letter C. I-record natin yung proceeds at par value or stated value of the share capital. Illustration. Villarama Corporation was organized on January 1, 2019. It is authorized to issue 20,000 shares of 6%, 50 pesos par value, preference shares, and 50,000 of no par Ordinary shares with a stated value of 10 pesos per share. The following stock transactions were completed during the year. Okay, April 1, issued 2,500 ordinary shares for land. Okay, nag-issue ng share si Villarama Corporation and ang pinangbayad ng shareholders sa kanya for the issuance of shares is yung lupa, land. Non-cash consideration. Land is an example of property plan and equipment. The asking price of the land was 90,000 and the fair market value of the land was 85,000 pesos. August 1. Issued 1,000 ordinary shares to lawyers in payment of their bill for 50,000 pertaining to services rendered in helping the company organize. So, ito naman sa August 1, issuance of shares 1,000 to lawyers for payment for their of their bill for 50,000 pesos. Kanina, ang consideration ay land. August 1 naman, non-cash consideration pa rin, pero this time, service render, rendered in helping the company organize. Ang requirement, journalize the transactions. Okay, ang requirement lang naman ay journalize the, trans the transactions. And yung dalawang transaction happened April 1 and August 1. So, lalagyan lang natin siya ng journal entry. So, doon muna tayo sa April 1. April 1, 2019. Okay. Issued 2,500 ordinary shares for land. The asking price of the land was 90,000. The fair market value of the land is 85. Okay, non-cash consideration. Meron tayong order of priority. Una, kapag given ang fair value of non-cash consideration received, ito yung unang priority. Ito yung ire-record natin as proceeds for the issuance of shares. So, lagyan natin dito letter A. Letter A means ito yon fair value of non-cash consideration received. So, meron bang given sa transaction April 1? Ang na-receive na consideration ay land. And the fair market value of the land is 85,000 pesos. 
So given yung letter A. Letter B, fair market value of the share capital issued. So given ba sa April 1 yung fair value of share capital issued? <clears throat> Hindi given, di ba? So sa letter B, not available or not applicable. Letter C, par value or stated value of the share capital issued. So given ba yung par value or stated value for the transaction April 1? Okay. Given. Sabi, ang April 1 issued 2,500 shares. So, 2,500 shares times the par value or the stated value. So, ang stated value dito, so kailangan nating malaman kung ang shares ba ay preference or ordinary. So, sa case na to, ordinary shares. And ang par value ng shares or ang stated value niya, so, sa problem na to, so, no par value pero given yung stated value, 10 pesos. So, 2,500 times 10 pesos per share, 25,000 pesos. Okay. Priority, kapag given yung A, then ito. Kapag hindi given yung A, then yung letter B. Kapag hindi given yung letter B, then letter C. So, given yung letter A, therefore, ito yung ina-record natin as proceeds for the issuance of 2,500 ordinary shares. To record journal entry, debit, land. At what amount? 85,000 pesos. Credit, ordinary share capital. At what amount? The shares is 2,500 times the stated value 10 pesos ng ordinary shares therefore 2,500 times 10 equals 25,000 pesos then yung excess share premium ordinary shares 60,000 pesos August 1 issued 1,000 ordinary shares to lawyers in payment for their bill for 50,000 pertaining to service rendered in helping the company organize. So, non-cash consideration pa din yung nakuha. But this time, service yung consideration. Okay, ganun pa din. Isa-isahin pa din natin yung ano, priority. Letter A, given ba yung fair value of non-cash consideration received? So, sa letter A, so sa case na to, service yung na-receive. And ang non-cash consideration received, which is service, and yung fair market value ng service so, August 1 is yung, eto, 50,000 pesos. So, given siya. Letter B, fair value of share capital issued. So, hindi na naman given sa letter B. Dahil hindi given yung fair value ng, or fair value per share ng ordinary shares. Letter C, par value or stated value. So, ilang shares ang in-issue? 1,000. <clears throat> Times the stated value which is 10 pesos. Ito yun. Stated value of 10 pesos. Stated value of the share capital equals 10,000. Okay. Since nag-given naman yung, prior yung first priority which is yung fair value of non-cash consideration received which is sa case na to is service. Ito yung gagamitin natin as <clears throat> Proceeds for recording the issuance of 1,000 ordinary shares. August 1, 2019. Debit, organization expense, or any other appropriate account, 50,000. Credit, ordinary share capital. Na? 1,000 shares times the stated value, 10 pesos per share. 10,000 pesos. Then yung difference is share premium, ordinary shares, 40,000 pesos. So nagawa na natin yung, transaction, yung journal entries for the April 1 which is ito, debit land, credit ordinary share capital, credit share premium. And yung August 1, which is ito, 
debit organization expense or any appropriate account. 50, credit share capital, credit share premium for the excess. 40,000 pesos. So, tapos na matayo mag-journalize ng transactions. For share issuances for non-cash considerations.